Hey Joe, you're definitely right that um, thermodynamics is very important uh, for understanding the meaning of complexity and the need for systems theory or a non-reductive approach to understanding the way that matter behaves. Um, but you, you, you mentioned um, a, the, the way that closed thermodynamic systems behave. Uh, we can understand them statistically because there's this the general laws of uh, thermodynamics, the, the two laws. Um, no energy is created or destroyed. And um, overall, the system tends toward entropy, toward disorder. Um, and based on these axioms, we can accurately um, predict at least um, probabilistically how a system will behave. But when we open these systems, when, when we deal with open thermodynamic systems like um, the planet Earth, the biosphere, um, you know, which accepts energy from the sun in the form of light and radiates it out, um, it receives and expels energy. An open thermodynamic system like that, or like the body, any body, any organism, any cell. The laws of, of thermodynamics are um, not contradicted necessarily, but um, complexified to, to an extent where trying to understand them um, by referencing their components or their parts only obscures the actual phenomenon you're trying to understand. If we want to understand organisms, we have to know more than just what their genes do. We have to understand how those organisms develop through time, because certainly we can look at the genetic code as nothing but information, a bunch of pieces which add up to something. And that thing that they add up to is no more than the sum of its parts. Um, but when we talk about the actual birth of, of, of a being um, and its um, you know, development, its, its um, mitosis, its transformation from one cell into many, and its organization, um, you know, the folding of the neural cords and um, the morphological development of, of a body. Uh, we need new laws to understand that type of activity because we're not dealing with uh, a situation where no information is created or destroyed, at least uh, locally. In a closed thermodynamic system, you can have these axioms that the system will tend toward entropy. Nothing new will be created, no new dynamics will arise within it. Um, but when you, when you deal with open systems, there is new energy passing through the system at all times. And in order to remain alive, there needs to be some type of um, self-generating metabolism. Autopoiesis is the scientific term for it. Um, somehow the organism must self-organize, and there are patterns that can be rationally understood and mathematically predicted, statistically predicted, just like we have statistical predictions for closed thermodynamic systems, which are uh, pretty accurate. We can be pretty certain about closed thermodynamic systems, but when we talk about life and open thermodynamic systems. We have to deal with chaos, and I mean the scientific term, um, complexity, nonlinearity. These are, these are scientific terms. They are, they are new variables in the phenomena we're trying to understand, and we have to account for them. Uh, and we do. We develop new mathematical uh, methods of modeling. But they're not as certain as the physical laws of closed thermodynamic system. Biological laws are um, 
Well, we can predict only so much. We can't tell what's going to happen next. You know, and just look at our our climate models. I mean, the last four years in South Florida, we were supposed to have the worst hurricane season in 30 years, and we didn't we didn't get a single storm. I mean, there were some storms that developed, but it was nowhere near what they were expecting. Um, our models can only be so accurate. We can predict three days in advance the weather and the temperature, but beyond that, it starts to get to get shaky. Um, so we lose a degree of certainty in um, complexity theory in system science, but we gain, uh, we definitely gain a degree of understanding where before we had none. We can't understand biology in terms of physics, um, not because biological systems aren't made of matter, but because in biological systems, matter is behaving in ways it doesn't behave outside of those systems. Um, so I'm glad that you brought up thermodynamics because it is exactly the point about why we need complexity theory and non-reductionism um, when dealing with open thermodynamic systems and why we don't necessarily need that when dealing with closed systems. So, um, yeah, maybe it was unintentional, but you stumbled onto exactly the key issue.